Hello students, hope you are studying well at your home. In the previous video, we discussed about the respiration process and the way by which glucose it get oxidized to release energy. Now, in this video, we will discuss about the process of respiration in different organisms like human being and some aquatic organisms. If we talk about the process of respiration in the aquatic organisms like aquatic organism like fish, fish ke andar respiration process kaise hoti hai? As you all know, aquatic organisms live in the water and they take oxygen that is present in the water as dissolved form. Jo paani mein rehte hain organism, unhe air ki oxygen to nahi mil sakti. Wo oxygen kahan se lenge? They take oxygen from dissolved oxygen that is present in the water. Water ke andar hi oxygen jo bhuli hui hai, dissolved form mein present hai, usi oxygen ko utilize karte hain for their respiration process for which they have special structure present in their body that is called gills. Gills are specialized to take the oxygen which is present in the dissolved form. So, aquatic organisms take oxygen in the dissolved form through their gills and they have much faster rate of breathing. Unki jo breathing ki rate hoti hai, wo bhi bahut fast hoti hai so that oxygen can be continuously supplied to their body. But now, we will discuss about the human respiratory system and the process of respiration, how it takes place in the case of human. This is the diagram of human respiratory system. Let's take one by one all the parts of the respiratory system and then we'll discuss how airs come inside and how the process of respiration takes place. This is the first part of the respiratory system. First part of the respiratory system is nostril. First of all, we will start from the nostril. First part of the respiratory system or we can say the opening of the respiratory system is the nostril. Nostrils are the pores of the nose which we have. We have two pores. These are known as nostril by which air enters inside the nose. Nostril kya hoti hai? Nasal pore. So they, we can call it nasal pore. And we nasal pores bhi keh sakte hai. Ye po pores se jin se air andar jadi hai hamari body ke andar. So these are nasal pores. After that, when air gets entered inside the nose by the nostrils, then air here a cavity-like structure or a chamber-like structure is present that is known as nasal chamber. Inside the nose, the second part of the respiratory system that is nasal chamber. So nasal chamber is present inside the nose. What is the function of this nasal chamber? This nasal chamber is the part of the respiratory system where air is purified. When we take the air, when we take the air ko jaate hai, during the process of inhalation, we can take the air. Air is dust, bhi jaati hai. air is microorganisms that are air mein present in the air. अब वो जब हमारी बॉडी के अंदर जाएंगे तो कुछ ना कुछ हार्म तो इफेक्ट क्रिएट करेंगे ही ना तो उस चीज को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए हमारा नेजल चैंबर कंटेन सम स्पेशलाइज्ड स्ट्रक्चर लाइक इट सीक्रेट्स म्यूकस एंड सम हेयर्स आर आल्सो प्रेजेंट इनसाइड दिस नेजल चैंबर इस नेजल चैंबर में हेयर प्रेजेंट रहते हैं और साथ में अ म्यूकस लाइक एक जेली जैसा सब्सटेंस एक लिक्विड सीक्रेट होता रहता है जिसे म्यूकस कहा जाता है वो नेजल चैंबर में सीक्रेट होता है जिसकी वजह से नेजल चैंबर के अंदर जब एयर पहुंचती है तो उस एयर में प्रेजेंट डस्ट पार्टिकल्स और जर्म्स को ट्रैप कर लिया जाता है दिस म्यूकस एंड हेयर हेयर्स ट्रैप द डस्ट पार्टिकल्स एंड जर्म्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन द एयर एंड दे आल्सो बाय दिस दे प्यूरीफाई द एयर जिससे एयर को प्यूरीफाई किया जाता है सेकंड थिंग इज हैपन दैट इज एयर बिकम वार्म यहाँ पे एयर को वार्म किया जाता है इट इज कन्वर्टेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द बॉडी टेम्परेचर तो दिस इज द सम इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस स्टेप्स दैट हैपन्स इनसाइड दिस नेजल चैम्बर विद एयर कम इन साइड द नेजल चैम्बर नोस्ट्रल से हमने एयर को अंदर लेके गए वहां से गए नेजल चैम्बर में नेजल चैम्बर में एयर प्यूरीफाई हुई वार्म हुई और बैक्टीरिया और जर्म्स को और दस पार्टिकल्स को ट्रैप कर लिया गया After that, air passes through the next part of the respiratory system that is pharynx. The third part we can write here that is pharynx. Now, what is pharynx? Pharynx के बारे में हमने बात की थी अपने पिछले वीडियो में भी जब हमने nutrition discuss किया था. Nutrition में भी pharynx का role था और pharynx का role यहाँ पे भी है respiration में. Then I told you that pharynx 
is the common passes by which food and air both travels. ये common passes होता है हमारे यहाँ behind here is the oral cavity and then the pharynx is present here and after nasal chamber pharynx is also present. So this is the common passes by which food and air travel. ये common passes होता है जहाँ से food और air travel करता है. Now pharynx has a covering that is known as epiglottis. Pharynx के ऊपर एक cover like structure होती है. जिसे हम बोलते हैं एपिग्लोटिस और वी कैन से अ प्लाप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच कवर्स द फैरिंग्स सो दैट द फूड डज नॉट कम इनसाइड दिस पाइप विंड पाइप और एयर पाइप फैरिंग्स के ऊपर प्लाप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर प्रेजेंट रहती है जिसे बोलते हैं एपिग्लोटिस एंड दिस एपिग्लोटिस प्रिवेंट द एंट्री ऑफ द फूड पार्टिकल्स इनसाइड द ट्रैकिया और विंड पाइप तो ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है जो फैरिंग्स को कवर करता है ताकि फूड जब हम खा रहे हैं, when we are taking food inside, that food enters inside the food food pipe. वो food pipe पे ही जाए, because मैंने आपको बताया था food pipe और air pipe दोनों हमारी साथ साथ ही हैं. In front we have wind pipe and just behind it we have food pipe. So this is the common passes and the entry of the food prevented inside the wind pipe by this flap like structure that is epiglottis. After that pharynx opens into the next structure that is larynx. Next part is the larynx. Larynx, you have studied about the larynx in your previous classes like in your 8th class. Larynx is also known as sound box or voice box. Ye wo part hai jahan se air travel kar diya, then we are able to produce our sound. Hum jo bol pa rahe hai, wo jo awaj hamari body se aare, that is produced due to the larynx. So larynx connects the pharynx to the pipe that is wind pipe. So next part of respiratory system is trachea. Trachea. Trachea is also known as wind pipe. This is the air pipe by which the air traveled inside the lungs. This pipe like structure is known as trachea. Here you can see that in the trachea we have done some circular structure. What are these structure? Trachea ke andar ye jo humne structure banai hai, these are the ring shaped structure. Trachea contains some C shaped cartilage rings. So trachea have कार्टिलेज रिंग्स कार्टिलेज की बनी हुई रिंग्स प्रेजेंट रहती हैं ट्रैकिया के अंदर एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ दीज रिंग्स इज दैट इट्स प्रिवेंट द ट्रैकिया बाय कोलैप्सिंग व्हेन वी आर ब्रीथिंग एयर इज कमिंग एंड इट इज रिलीजिंग आउट वी आर टेकिंग एयर इनसाइड एंड देन रिलीजिंग इट आउट जब हम एयर को अंदर लेके जा रहे हैं और बाहर निकाल रहे हैं उस टाइम पे ये जो पाइप जैसी स्ट्रक्चर है जो हमारे विंड पाइप पे कोलैप्स ना हो जाए इस चीज को प्रिवेंट करने के लिए ट्रैकिया में जो स्ट्रक्चर है जिसे हम बोलते हैं कार्टिलेज रिंग्स दीज रिंग्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड दे प्रिवेंट द कोलैप्सिंग ऑफ ट्रैकिया व्हाइल ब्रीथिंग सो कीप रिमेंबर इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ दीज कार्टिलेज रिंग्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम द क्वेश्चंस इज आस्क अबाउट दिस द अबाउट द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ दीज कार्टिलेज रिंग्स सो कीप रिमेंबर इट इट प्रिवेंट्स द ट्रैकिया बाय कोलैप्सिंग आफ्टर दैट वी हैव सीन दैट ट्रैकिया व्हेन कम्स डाउन and before entering into the lungs, these two are the lungs. Before entering the lungs, trachea divides into two parts. Trachea is divided into two parts and it enter inside the each lung. Trachea two parts may divide hoti hai aur phir ye dono lungs may enter karti hai. This part of the trachea by which it is divided is known as bronchus or bronchia or bronchi. Trachea divides into the bronchi. Each is bronchus. This is the bronchus. And after that, each bronchus enter inside the each lungs. So after trachea, six bronchus, bronchus, and then bronchus divides into the bronchioles, bronchioles, and these bronchioles, after dividing inside these trachea, inside the lungs, bronchus, bronchioles, bronchus divides into the bronchioles. These are the bronchioles. Further thin structure here. This is the bronchioles, and then each bronchioles connected with the sac-like structures, and these sac-like structures are known as alveoli. These sac-like structures are known as alveoli. These are also known as air sacs. Air sacs, and these air sacs are present into the lung. We have into the lungs. We have two. Lungs it means we can say we have one pair of lungs. Let's see what is the nostril. After nostril, next part is nasal chamber. Then it connects by pharynx and larynx. 
It's connects to the trachea that is windpipe, a pipe-like structure. This trachea enters into the both lungs and before entering it forms a Y-shaped structure or it divides into two parts that is the bronchus and each bronchus then further divide inside each lung and forms bronchioles. And each bronch, all the bronchioles are connected with these small sac-like structures. These sac-like structures are known as alveoli. Let's write the name and these are alveoli. And these alveoli are also known as air sacs. Now we will talk about these lungs. The lungs, we have one pair of lungs, means we have two lungs. This is our left lung and this one is our right lung. This is our right lung and this one is our left lung. The size of the left lung is smaller than the size of right lung. Means we can say right lung is larger in size as compared to left lung. Both of these two lungs are covered by two membranes and in between of these two membranes a space is present. Here we draw a space. This space is known as pleural cavity. The space present between both these membranes by which lungs are covered is known as pleural cavity. And this pleural cavity is filled with a liquid that is known as pleural fluid. Two membranes are made of the lungs and in membranes are made of gap in which we call the pleural cavity. And in pleural cavity there is a liquid filled with which is called pleural fluid. And this pleural fluid helps them or protect them from damage. That means it will work for a cushion and protection of the lungs. Now let's inside the lung let's see what is there. As I already told you right lung is larger in size than left lung. Now here we see one more structure that is thin muscular sheet like structure. Niche ki taraf ek thin muscular sheet like structure hume nazar aari hai. This structure is known as diaphragm. This thin muscular structure is known as diaphragm. Diaphragm helps in the breathing process. Iska bahut important role hai diaphragm ka and it protects or it separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. Ye humari thoracic cavity ko abdominal cavity se separate karne ka kham karta hai. पर पहले देखें होता क्या है थोरेसिक कैविटी थोरेसिक कैविटी मींस अ कैविटी अ केस लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इन विच बोथ द लंग्स आर प्रेजेंट हमारे जो दोनों लंग्स होते हैं दीज आर वेरी सॉफ्ट एंड डेलिकेट ऑर्गन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन है और साथ में यहां पे प्रेजेंट रहता है हार्ट दिस स्पेस इज गेट फिल्ड बाय हार्ट हियर दिस स्ट्रक्चर दिस नॉच लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज नोन एज कार्डियक नॉच तो यहां पे हमारे लेफ्ट लंग के पास हमारा हार्ट भी प्रेजेंट होता है तो हार्ट और लंग इतने इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन्स को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए कुछ कुछ तो सेफ्टी चाहिए वो सेफ्टी कैसे मिलती है दीज ऑर्गन्स आर प्रोटेक्टेड बाय अ केस लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एंड दैट केस इज नॉन एज थोरेसिक केविटी द केस नॉन एज थोरेसिक केविटी हाउ द थोरेसिक केविटी इज फॉर्म लेट्स सी कैसे थोरेसिक केविटी बनती है उसके बारे में बात करते हैं हाउ द थोरेसिक केविटी इज फॉर्म हाउ लंग्स आर प्रोटेक्टेड इनसाइड द थोरेसिक Thoracic cavity. Lungs are protected inside a case-like structure that is known as thoracic cavity. Now, the thoracic cavity is made of what kind of things? How is a case made? How is a pintra made in which the lungs and heart can be protected? Let's see. This, for, for the formation of this thoracic cavity, just start from the behind. Behind from behind, it is covered or it is formed by thoracic vertebra. The thoracic vertebra like you know, we have vertebras from which the, that is a form of our backbone. Hamari jo backbone hoti hai, wo vertebras ki bani hoti hai. To usme jo vertebras hai, hamare thoracic vertebra. These thoracic vertebras form or form the this thoracic cavity from behind. Yani ki hamari thoracic cavity ka piche ka jo part wo ho ra, ban raha hai, wo ban raha hai by thoracic vertebras. And it from front, agar hum baat kare from front part or in front, it is formed by a sternum like bone that is known as sternum. Sternum se bandar, sternum is the small bone that is present here. Ek chodi bone yaha pe present ho diye, jo humari ribs ke saath attached rahe diye. That sternum forms the front part of the thoracic cavity. Laterally or inside, agar hum laterally baat kare, yaan ki side ke part ki baat kare, laterally thoracic cavity is formed from the ribs. साइड का पोर्शन थोरेसिक कैविटी का बनता है लिप से एंड द लोअर पार्ट लोअर पार्ट इस फॉर्म फ्रॉम द डायाफ्राम डायाफ्राम 
by these structures our thoracic cavity is formed thoracic cavity is a case like structure by which lung and heart are protected it's formed from, from the these body parts behind thoracic cavity is formed by the thoracic vertebra in front it's formed by the sternum and literally the side of the portion of thoracic cavity is formed from the ribs and lower part of the thoracic cavity formed from the diaphragm means it's just a case like structure like ribs are like this type so ribs forms the lateral part upper part is this ribs form the lateral part behind it is joined with the thoracic vertebra lower diaphragm is present and upper part is formed from the sternum that forms the front part so by combining all these structures our cavity is formed that cavity is known as thoracic cavity and lungs are protected inside the thoracic cavity behind diaphragm is present diaphragm is muscular sheath like structure which separates thoracic cavity by abdominal cavity like niche ki taraf hamara abdominal part shuru ho jata jisme sara digestion process hota and this is the thoracic cavity in which both lungs are present and this structure is known as cardiac notch cardiac notch this cardiac notch is the place where heart is located heart our heart is just a fist like structure and it is located here at this notch like structure with this left lung so size of the left lung is smaller than the size of right lung this is all about our digestive system i'm uh, sorry respiratory system let's see how air travel through all these parts like first part is the nostrils air enter through the nostril and then it comes into the nasal chamber then by passing through the pharynx and larynx pharynx or larynx se cross karte hue air comes into the trachea air trachea ke andar aati hai and then when trachea divides into two parts two bronchus air also come go inside this lungs by bronchus further after entering into the each lung bronchus divides into the bronchioles air kahan pahunch jayegi from trachea bronchus and then air enters into the bronchioles air kahan pahunchegi bronchioles ke andar and then air go inside these sac like structure this is alveoli so finally air reach to these sac like or balloon shaped structure this is alveoli when air enters inside the alveoli these alveoli are the site where gases exchange take place ye wo site hoti hai jahan pe gases exchange hoti hai alveoli ek aisi bag like ya balloon shaped structure hai jinki bahut thin membrane hoti hai and these thin membranes are in the continuous connection with the blood capillaries ye jo alveoli hai inka connection blood ke sath hota hai and in the blood we have a one pigment hamare blood mein ek pigment hota hai jise hum bolte hemoglobin hemoglobin this is the pigment of our blood which is present in our blood this hemoglobin can capture the or टेक द ऑक्सीजन विच कम्स विद द एयर इन हेल्ड एयर जब हम सांस ले रहे हैं तो हम जो एयर अंदर लेके जा रहे हैं वो एयर जब एल्वियोलाइज तक पहुंच जाती है और एल्वियोलाइज में फिल हो जाती है वहां से एल्वियोलाइज से इस एयर की ऑक्सीजन को ब्लड का ये पिगमेंट हीमोग्लोबिन कैरी कर लेता है उसे ले लेता है एंड देन फाइनली ऑक्सीजन रीच टू द ब्लड एंड ब्लड ट्रांसपोर्टेड दिस ऑक्सीजन टू ऑल पार्ट ऑफ अवर body and in process in take in means we can say after taking oxygen it gives co2 to the hemoglobin and is reach back to the alveoli oxygen bahar chali jayegi blood capillaries ke andar hemoglobin ke andar aur badle mein co2 in ke andar fill ho jayegi and these CO, this co2 is again released out by the same process by following the same path from alveoli bronchioles bronchus trachea larynx pharynx nasal chamber and through nose we release this carbon dioxide to our exhaled air this process is known as breathing process and in the next video we will study or we will discuss about the mechanism of breathing thank you keep watching and keep studying